spoken to the beware. This is something that you never heard. It gives you the real type of fallacy. Pick up the phone and just share the key. Yo, it's me. They call me B. I love to talk, but not for free. About some clothes, about some B. Go grab your drink and have a seat. Press that like and hit that share. Cause I'ma take you anywhere. This my story. Watch and see. Now come enjoy this ride with me. Hey. Hey y'all. Welcome back to the B Word. A special edition. I'm actually uh, away from home right now. I'm on a work trip. So here I am. Uh, I wanted to talk about how things have hit me while I've been here, specifically about my my single journey. And so today I just want to talk about how important it is to give yourself time to be alone, be single, uh, be happy with your singleness. So yeah, um, I guess officially it's been a year now. I told you I got dumped on my birthday last year. Mm um delivered and it's been okay but um i think it's important because i vow to myself that to give myself at least a year to myself right a year to heal a year to prepare myself for what god has for me a year to um focus on my self-care um, and that's what I've been doing. I've started therapy, which was a huge thing for me because um, I actually put my son in therapy last year and I was kind of going back and forth with myself about myself starting therapy because uh, on one side, I'm like, okay, I, I want to work on me, but I don't want to work on me while I'm trying to help my son. But I also, you know, want to work on me because I need to be the best me, the best be that I can be for him to be the best mom that I can be. So, yeah, I just decided to start therapy and it's been going really good. I haven't been able to um, do any sessions while I've been down here because I've been working like crazy, but um, it has been going really good. Hang out here. And we're back. So yeah, I've started therapy and um, I've started this blog. I've started journaling again. I've started reading again. So I've really been, really been focusing on my self care so I can be the best me that I can be while I'm preparing for whatever God has in store for me. And I think it's really important to give yourself time to heal, give yourself time to um, work things out, figure things out, figure out what you want, figure out what went wrong in the past, figure out what not to repeat those things. Like you need time. The heart needs time to heal because, you know, you can be broken hearted. You can, you will be hurt and you might be hurt for a long time. That's why I feel like it's important to give yourself that time. That way, you can be whole, you can be okay when that man does, or woman does come into your life and you can recognize that good thing in front of you because you're not blinded by your pain. Um, I forgot what movie it was, but they say something like, uh, oh, no lag between the vag, like no lag time between the vaginas. It's like, you can't hop in from one thing to the next. And that was, that was me. Not necessarily as fast, you know, like I wasn't ending one relationship one week and then a new one the next week. But, um, uh, Titan's dad always said like, you can your number to everybody. It's like, okay. And it used to be true. I used to like, if a guy would get, ask me for my number, I would just give it to him. And it's just like, knowing dang well, sometimes I wasn't interested. So, you know, I'm giving myself time and it's like, I don't have to be in a relationship. So I'm giving myself time to breathe between these relationships, between these situations and between men and all that. So, you know, I'm just giving myself um, time. And actually, since I've been down here, you know how it is, is I work for the railroad and it's 99% with uh, men, not women, 99% uh, men. So a couple of people done shot, they shot at me since I've been down here. And I'm just like, and I am so proud of myself because I have been telling them like, 
no thank you you know like i'm not actively dating right now i'm taking a break for myself and they've been okay for the most part or if they still like oh well can i just have your phone number so we can be friends i'm just like no it's like i said before like i'm doing things intentionally now and you know i don't need any more friends right now i just i just don't i don't need it you know and we're back also um i think it's important to be still while god is preparing what he has for you you know um they say you know pray about it and let it go and that's it you know you you manifest things and you pray about it and you let it go you just go on with your life and and hopefully you'll be ready when that time comes that's why you need to prepare yourself that's why you need to heal that's why you need to focus on you so that when that mate does come along you will be whole for example like I always hated the saying like that's my better better half that's my better half and whatever he completes me and all that it's just like Beyonce song not called half and half for a reason it's like one plus one is two so you know when you meet that soulmate your mate your husband your wife that person doesn't complete you you're supposed to be complete and whole within yourself before you meet that person and in addition to one plus one is two holes. You're not supposed to be half or no other person, be it your mom, your siblings, or, or your mate, or whoever. No other person is supposed to complete, complete you. We're supposed to be whole on our own. I just, not just, but I read uh, Relationship Goes by Michael Todd. I don't know if y'all familiar with him, but he's like, a, he's a pastor and um, a relationship uh, God also but mainly he's a pastor um but in one of the chapters he he spoke about um being single and how it's it's just one of your seasons like our lives have these seasons and being single is just a part it's just one of your seasons but he said it's not it's not a curse it's an opportunity for you to be whole and unique and to work on yourself directly in preparation for what God is preparing you for. Sorry, I ain't trying to be all, you know, spiritual and biblical because that definitely ain't me. And uh, I couldn't quote you, not name nothing in the Bible, but just saying that's what he was saying, you know, just like be happy in your singleness, be whole in your singleness, embrace your singleness so that, you know, have you ever heard a person say like, man, you know, um, I met this good guy or this good woman and I don't even know what that looks like. I don't even know how to how to act because I never had this before. So it's like when you're preparing yourself, when you're being honest with yourself, when you're working on yourself, when you go over with yourself what you deserve, what you're requiring, which is not much. Never let nobody tell you that you're asking for too much because um, I've talked to a lot of people and we're really not asking for too much. So once you work out, once you know what you're seeking, once you know what you're requiring, then once when that person is standing in front of you, you'll be able to embrace that person. You'll be able to accept that person. You'll be able to return love to that person because you were prepared. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just, I'm working on being prepared. I'm working on being happy, being single, being with me. Y'all know my quote, say it with me. What my great granny say, save some you for you. So that's what I'm doing. I'm saving some me for me. I never want to give my all to no man ever again. I don't want my black kings or my Hispanic kings, my white king, whoever. I don't want y'all to give yourself to a, um, your whole self to a man, a woman either. I'm all twisted y'all. Um, but never give your all. It's just you have to save some you for you. As the saying goes, you know, you can't pour out of an empty cup. And that goes with anybody, not just your relationships. You can't pour out of an empty cup. So we have to save some us for us. Auntie Mary is everything. And I'm talking about Mary J. Blige. Um, but in her song, Be Happy, the opening line is, How can I love somebody else? if i can't love myself enough to know when it's time to let go wasn't she speaking wasn't she speaking come on with the word auntie but it's for real like you can't 
You can't expect or request someone to love you, to fall in love with you, to be in love with you when you don't even love yourself. Learn to love you. Learn to love you with all your flaws, all your discrepancies, all of your shortcomings. Learn to love you. That way you can present yourself wholly to a person and either they will accept you or they won't. But this is me, you know, um, always present yourself as yourself, as you want to be, you know, presented. So that's where I'm with that. I'm just currently, I'm just, I'm falling in love with myself all over again. I'm making sure that I'm taking care of myself, that I am um, being good to me so that when a man comes along and he wants to be good to me, I don't, you know, discredit him or I don't push him away or I can't recognize it. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to, you know, I'm, I'm working on me. And I, I want to be single. Well, I will be single for at least a year. Well, shoot, it'll be two years by that time. But the difference between last year and this year is because last year I did open myself up to to other men. And, um, and I was you know, dating or trying to get into situationships. Um, but this time I'm not doing that. So this time I'm strictly like not taking numbers um, unless they want to intentionally date me, like uh, what I was saying, but I'm not like uh, not having sex, which is not a big thing for me, but if it comes down to, okay, whatever, but it probably won't. <laughs> but I'm just intentionally not being involved in any men for at least, the next year or at least a year that's 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 what i need um i guess it's time for us to go to work so as usual don't forget to like subscribe share my page and i'll see y'all next time <laughs> <laughs>